Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. That's a heavy one. So the N word is like justice. It's just for us. And when I say that, I mean people of color. Because it seems to be extended to others that are also treated as an other. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. I thought it had been buried. They had an effigy of it and buried it, marched it through downtown as if it had died, but that was just a dog and pony show. When you, when you say that uh, it's been used for others. Others meaning people, other people of color and their usage of it. You'd almost think it'd be a barbed word, but it doesn't resonate the same coming from somebody who also has had a similar struggle. Latinos, and particularly Latinos from the African diaspora, because most of them are like mixed, really, really mixed. Like my Puerto Rican homeboy, his grandmother's darker than me. He looks white most days, but till the summer comes and then he's a, a brown skinned man, like a real uh, cocoa color guy. Okay. And then then there's the Dominican Republic that's filled with Afro-Latinos. And there's the enclave in Mexico. And because the world is not flat and separated and round and moving, the term travels. There are equivalents around the rest of the world, but they all have a different connotation. The N-word is... Uh, a very powerful word. It can bring unity or it can tear down like it was intended to. The idea of people flipping it and using it seems to perpetuate the, the less than attitude among the people that it's being used on and toward. Even as a term of, term of endearment, I don't always want to be one of the niggas. Do I want to be a black man? I don't even know if that's fitting sometimes. Black is not a nation, but it is people. I don't know if African American really fit because. I think among the African diaspora, African Americans are, are the most unique because they're extremely disconnected. They're an island among a chain of islands that's very, very separated from the rest of them. Um, in Brazil, you have the Afro Latinos who, who can point home to. Ghana or Guyana and, and, and South America, the Guyanese people or the Guyanese people. Everybody can point back. Even the people who are in, in Oceania can point back to Africa and say, that's home. That's where we came from. And have a real connection to a place. Nigger makes you disconnected to a place. Nigger is not a, a proud people. So it's a dirty low thing. Um, I heard uh, Killer Mike talk about it and how you need to use it in its raw form. Don't call it the N-word. You're taking its power away because when you need to confront an oppressor who, who's treating you that way and using that word behind your back or in your face. They need to hear it repeated because most of them are cowards and they'll, they'll occur up. I guess the inflection matters too. 
one of my experiences where where I've seen it cleverly used was in a battle rap by a, a, a white Jewish dude, so to speak, white. But the uh, the guy says uh, as he's battling this other guy, uh, the guy's Arab descent, an Arab descendant. And he's Jewish. He he, uh, he goes on this tirade about he's the real Muhammad Ali, and the other guy's just Ali Muhammad. He follows this up with the guy's racist jokes that he wants to use during this battle rap are as as funny as the N word with the hard ER, and that always sticks with me. That's my viewpoint on the N word or nigger. I use the word. I admit it. I thought there was a difference between nigger and nigga. As a um, a young man of color in Detroit, just um, being amazed at the power that people allow the word to have, in the sense that um. Uh, fights, uh, people going to jail, people dying, either from saying the word or having the word said to them. And uh, as I got older, I'm just um, again just the uh, the um, <coughs> amazement at the power of that particular word. As far as how uh, <clears throat> people could withstand so much more, but that word can send them over the edge. Uh, I was fortunate enough later on, uh, as part of uh, our study group, and uh, I would encourage people to look it up for themselves but just the from the phonetic standpoint the uh, very similar sound but just um, from a spelling aspect just N-E-G-U-S or Negus and the fact of the nobility and royalty of that and I for myself as far as just <clears throat> the origin of that word coming from Ethiopia and Ethiopia being the home and origin of the first man uh, I tend to want to view the <clears throat> historic transformation or movement of that sound versus the spelling is that that was the original if and when the um, If and when um, that word is directed towards myself, I can, I can again, as far as the power of it, I can choose to interpret it the way that I want to take it versus allowing somebody else to have power and make it take it the way they want to take it. It's Uncle Ruckus, no relation. I want to sing y'all a brand new song I just wrote called Don't Trust Them New Niggas Over There. You know, in, you know, in word. But we know what it means. When you know what it means, it don't have no problem. You know, uh, because, you know, in cases where, where, you know, we look at it as that term of endearment, nigga please, uh, or, uh, uh, you know, that nigga's crazy or whatever, you know. Uh, basically, uh, you know, it. I never was offended by it unless I heard white folks say it. But now it's to a point where they say it more than most of the people I know. You know, and uh, you actually see other cultures like uh, at this music festival where years ago, we're in the store, uh, and uh, it was an Asian cat saying, close to. 
And when they said it, they kind of said it and stepped back. And, uh, you know, my my thing was the shock of them saying it. But I wasn't upset because they were saying it, unless he was filming, filming or something, you know. Uh, they were saying it like I would have said it to any of my, my people I call my brothers, you know. And uh, they had the shock because I guess they figured a, a brother would go Congo all up on them or something. But I think it was more so... Uh, Maybe even the shock that I did, you know, that I know that you know we we can't let anybody provoke us by just saying, it, you know, uh, I keep it on that round, you know, it's nothing uh, to get excited about because, like, even if uh, let's say starch supremacist just showed up and said, you know, that's what he's going to use to control you to get you to react a certain way. You look, elicit a, a war response from. You. And then, uh, you know, then what have you. Uh, jail time or shot, possibly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a story uh, about, uh, I was, uh, this is right uh, when I was working uh, at Sterling Heights. And that uh, we call it Sterling White. And uh, I was at the bus stop. And uh, this this uh, long hair, he, he kind of reminds you of... Uh, the guy that played uh, Law on Wings, that guy, whatever, I forgot his name, the actor's name. It knows this to him. But uh, uh, he walked up to me, and uh, it's raining, raining hard, nighttime, going, going to work. And uh, he walks in, looks at me, and says, now, as he leans up to, hey, you know, leans up to me to say this, I see a little glint of steel. So I, I knew what it was. I didn't see the whole piece, but I knew it was. He said that, uh, he said, you are the ugliest nigger I've ever seen. So I just looked at him and laughed at him. When I laughed at him, he looked at me like, that's totally not what he expected me to do at all. And he quickly left the, uh, the little bus terminal and he walked off. Now, could have been a tussle, though that's what he mean he would win, but he would have been right. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of what. If I would have had reacted, you know, I would have got popped, maybe, you know, and some blade action or something happened or whatever. But uh, that's, you take the power away. You take it away. You know, maybe you don't react how they want you to react. You know, it, it means an ignorant person. And anybody who jumped to that is an ignorant person because you let you pull the, you, they made you have a that uh, that moment that inward moment, you know. And uh, I mean, if we the kings and the gods or whatever. We supposed to be ruled, you know. Some of them guys fuck shit up, but other ones uh, tried to rebuild or ignore a little crap like that, man. I mean, you don't have to uh, you don't have to, uh, to succumb to that. And I think uh, now. It's being used more so in politics, uh, more than ever. And having said what I said earlier, that's going to provoke people to even do things wrong because of the, that word. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't necessarily need to say it in my life. Uh, I say it because it's like a, uh, what was a child, like a whoop when I start to spray it. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that, that happens. I I can't I. No matter how I try, you know. Uh, but like I said, I, I know that I, I've never used it to be trying to control or, or like approach a group or nothing just to just to say it, just because I can say it, I'm wrong, I can say it. But like I said, I know what it means. I know the truth. That, well, other than the, the origin story of what it is, I know the English term dictionary. And none of us, you know, I'm dap on that. You are not niggas. No, you're not ignorant. You know what I'm saying? You are, you are not that. You know, uh, I'd rather be brother. You know what I'm saying? Black. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be be that. I I am the niggas. Okay? I am the niggas too. But I, niggas don't have to say it. You can do that. They, they know it in your walk. You know what I'm saying? Or what you say. You know? And so that, that that's where we bring from it. Don't let nobody use it to control you. Because I, what I really hate and I think a lot of cats are dying, still dying over that word. 
well, be respectful and mindful, but uh, but it's just a word. Niggas watch other niggas die. They love it. Niggas watched Emmett Till die. Niggas watched Mac Parker die. Niggas watched James Cheney die. Niggas watched Bobby Hutton die. Niggas watched Mega Evers die. Niggas watch niggas die. I would like to thank everybody who helped participate in this Citizens of Reality project. And I'd like to encourage everybody who's viewing this to please subscribe, share, tell other people about our project. And if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to contribute, or if you'd even like to sit here in this chair or one of the other seats and be in front of the camera, please contact us at COR2018 at gmx.com or use the phone number below. You can call or text it. Thank you. May God bless you and your family and may the ancestors watch you.